Introducing the new Heritage series from the start. Our heritage, your legacy. Okay, we'll start with a Mustad Heritage, Curve Cadis Barbless, size 14. I have Shear, 14 aught, grey or tan. So this is an excellent little Cadis pattern I've devised. So we'll just attach our tying thread and go back just a half a centimetre or so. Go forward again a little bit. What we need is some rather large uh, or long uh, cow elk is what I'm using here. Now it doesn't have to be long but it just makes tying it easier this. So we clean a little bunch of that and stack it. And before I tie it in what I want is a drop of super glue on there and just on the first few centimetres of the tying thread. So stack your hair and we open it this way so the the tips are facing in the right direction so we don't have to swap it around in our hand so it wants to be about the same length as the hook shank a little bit longer we just go in there twice round tighten up tighten up again then we just want to go back and tighten up a wee ways. Keep hold of the bunch of deer hair. I've got a loop of monofilament which will place the whole bunch through like so. We swap hands, we pull this back so we get a fold a little about the length of the hook shank like so. We hold that in position then we come up a couple of times around loosely and then we tighten and then we zigzag through to secure it like so then we can remove the loop and we have a nice caddis body wing so what we do now is we come in with our scissors and we push the butt ends back slide down It's a wonderful pattern this and it floats extremely well and one of the great things about it is the scruffier it gets the better it fishes I feel. So once we've got to there we can then go up through those cut ends we take our wing just get it on the right side of the hook eye And we fold our wing back. I just have to make a couple of turns forward. Like so. Fold our wing back. I need a little bit of wax on that. So, go forward, back again, that's looking good, 
and then we want to spin our thread anti-clockwise so it gets a flat profile and we can split it want to get it quite evenly split like so just open that up and then I've loaded a Petitjean micro clip with two CDC hackles. Let's come up there, spin our thread clockwise. That'll do us, and then we can go up here, fold it back. doesn't matter how scruffy this is at the front take our whip finisher tighten that up Remove the tying thread and just pull off the super long ones. Take our scissors and we just carefully trim off those longest CDCs underneath. And that's it. That's Clarks, Caddis. If you enjoy the videos, please like and please subscribe as it does help the channel. And thanks for watching.